Mina, Ohio Gazimus. Jesus freaking gamer here. Yes, Ohio Gazimus. This is morning. Um, Pull it all nighter yet again. And yeah, I missed um, YouTube yesterday, so apologies for that as well. Or I, I should say I missed the message. I didn't miss. Uh, and by yesterday, I mean Thursday, not not a uh, Friday, because for me this is still Friday. It's weird. So anyway, the, um, making up for Thursday's message today and doing Friday's message today as well. Video game messages are out. I think that covers everything. Let's get on with the Bible part of this. We're in Job chapter 30 today. Um, if you want to read verses 1 through 8, it basically describes the people. I don't think it was just Job's three friends I was referring to, but it describes a bunch of worthless people who are mocking Job and making fun of him. Um, and it just, it just talks about how worthless those people are and how they're pretty much you know, the scum of the earth. And this is still Job speaking. And then in verse 9, he goes on to say what these people are saying about him. And now I am their taunting song. Yes, I am their byword. They abhor me. They keep far from me. They do not hesitate to spit in my face. Because he, that is God, has loosed my bowstring and afflicted me. They have cast off restraint before me. In my right hand the rabble arises. They push away my feet, and they raise against me their ways of destruction. They break up my path. They promote my calamity. They have no helper. They come as broad breakers. Under the ruinous storm they roll along. Tears are turned upon me. They pursue my honor as the wind, and my prosperity has passed like a cloud. Sometimes when life is beating up, and life is tearing you down. There are some people who will come up alongside you. Well, usually in Job's case, he really didn't even have much of that. Even his wife was like, curse God and God die. So, uh, usually you have someone helping you out and looking out for you. In Job's case, he had none. But then there will always be people who will be there to tear you down, to try to take advantage of the situation, to try to complete your destruction, whatever destruction it is that is approaching you or you're undergoing. They're good for nothings. They're worthless people. And God does still love them. And the trick to this is, so should you. Job was speaking of these people and saying, hey, they're bad people. They're worthless people. They're the scum of the earth. And they're trying to, they're making fun of me. They're spitting at me. They're hissing at me. They want nothing to do with me. Now, they really did before, but now they're using this advantage to like really put distance between themselves and me and to make sure to tear down my reputation, to steal my honor. You know, anything and everything that I have left, these people are trying to take away. And we're all going to have those people in our lives. They're, they're worthless people. And the attitude we need to have is Job's attitude towards it. We're not going to sacrifice our righteousness we're not going to sacrifice our love for the sake of those worthless people. We need to acknowledge the people in our life that are the people in our lives that are bad. We need to acknowledge that hey, there's some bad people here. They do bad things. You can't just loving everyone doesn't admit that or tolerate just all behavior and any behavior. Love hates sinful behavior. Love will point out sinful behavior and put it in its place. Love takes the sinner in the middle of all their sin and says, you know what? You're still loved by God. You're still a valuable human being. You need to stop all this nonsense, but you're still loved. And if you really need help, I'll be there for you, even though you would never be there for me. But you need to acknowledge that they won't be there for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, that they won't be there for you, that they will try to tear you down when opportunity arises. You need to know your enemies. Like that old saying, um, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. It's true. So love your enemies, pray for those who afflict you, and bless those who curse you and despitefully use you. At the exact same time, be prepared for the fact that when life go starts going bad and taking a, a turn for the worse, that there are some people who are going to go right along with that trend and are going to try to tear you down even more. Be prepared for that. Be ready for that. Don't let them tear you down. Rather, bless them and love them in the middle of your pain and show them and this world to some people to some people's disdain to some people's salvation the glory of God that is in you and the hope that is in you through Jesus Christ 
your Lord. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I love you, and God bless.